Hey guys, welcome back to How to Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata. If you guys have a Hyundai Sonata, you want to find out guys the torque specs for the valve cover, gasket guys for the valve cover, cylinder head cover guys. Stay with us, we'll explain that, we'll explain the sequence and all that. We'll need to do two very important steps, so make sure to stay until the end. Otherwise guys, you can significantly damage things and you will be able, uh, you, you will need to redo the job again and maybe even replace valve cover. So we'll cover all that as we go. So this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys. Also uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel. If you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and specifically guys on this Hyundai Sonata we'll have more than 300 videos, mechanical videos videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video Specifically, we have a 2013 Hyundai Sonata with a 2.4 GDI engine. So, uh, we put a new valve cover gasket, now we want to explain guys the torque specs for that. We need a torque wrench, we'll put the link in the description of the video below. This is a click type wrench, when it reaches the torque, it clicks, you need to stop immediately. The first step according to the manual guys, it says it needs to be between 3.9 and 5.9 newton, newton meters. 3.9 to 5.9 and we need to follow certain procedures so uh, let's uh, get it going okay this right here okay is 3.9 right there around 4 newton meters we have it set once we reach the torque you hear the click stop immediately bolt number one guys right here you need to follow that sequence otherwise your gasket may fail oh click listen stop immediately bolt number two Bolt number three, we go right here. Four in the middle, right there. Then we go to bolt number five. We come here to bolt six, seven right next to it. Then we go 8 inside, 9, okay just a little bit slower, number 10, because you don't want to over torque them, you can easily break that bolt in the cylinder head, you don't want that to happen. Okay, number 11 inside, 12 on the back, so you get the idea, it's kind of like a snail pattern, guys. We come to number 13, 14, 15 right here. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen on the other side, on the outside. Oh, then we go number nineteen and number twenty. Now, our manual says, guys, next step: seven point eight to nine point eight newton meters, guys. Seven point eight to nine point eight. We'll set it about nine okay that's it right there perfect so we're going in the same pattern again okay number one here we click stop two three number four five six seven eight nine go to the other side ten 11, oh no, 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 10, 11 here, wrong, 12 on the back, 
right here now we come 13 14 15 and 16 17 18 right here on the outside of that engine and now we have two more next to the fuel pump 19 and 20 and when we get those things done you're set and ready to go hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time